They don't whistle. <laughs> no. What happened to those? <sighs> they must have banned them. Do you know what they didn't ban? What? Was this podcast. <gasps> Why? Because this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what should I do now? You should watch this. But I, I don't really want to. Well, maybe listen. <gasps> I'll do that. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about that. Hey guys, so spring is upon us, and when spring is here, flowers are here, and with flowers comes allergies, and with allergies, you guys should order through Sunday Cool. All your custom apparel needs are here. Custom t-shirts, hats, stickers, tote bags, whatever your little heart desires. And hey, maybe start your process now for your summer stuff, like VBS, summer camps, all that jazz. Also, Easter is coming up, so you guys should uh, do the RL New Fancy Water Reveal Ink, where when you're submerged in water and you come out, there's a brand new design. It's really cool. So sundaycool.com. Start your order today. Okay, I love you. That's it. Ink stop. Sweetie. Hey, hey, hold your horses. Hold on. Sweet cheeks. I'm going to take a bite now. That was really good. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, I'm ticked off. You know what I found out today? The butter sculptures at State Ferris that do the butter sculptures, like in Wisconsin or whatever? Yeah. Not fully butter. What else is it? It's a cage. It's a mold. And they just plaster butter on the outside. What? That's yeah. cheating. That it's a hundred percent cheating. I've been lied. We've all been lied to. It's like we can't even like imagine how ticked you would be if you bought like an ice sculpture, and you could easily see right through it. And there's just like a like just a cast around it. It'd be ridiculous. Instead of saying <clears throat> I've been lied to, what I was literally just telling you right before I went out to the restroom mm -hmm. was these guys on TikTok. They're talking about they're both have parents from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And how poetic they are with their like what they say, and he said like one thing is like instead of saying like oh I'm really mad, they'll say like my my enemies have defeated me today. <laughs> yeah, uh. dude, I wish I spoke like that. My enemies have defeated me today. Why can't we start talking like that? Talking poems. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to just speak a haiku every time I get upset. Oh, let me find another one real quick because they're really funny. Ba 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 ba. Look at this decor. It's pretty. It's pretty festive. What is it for? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. 30? I'm 30. 30, baby. Dang. 30, baby. Yep. yep so it's catching yep. up, dude. 30, so, baby. We were just hanging out with Chad Higgins two weeks ago, and when I told him I was 29, he couldn't believe it. I know. And it was to the point where, like, it was oh, no way. It was like five <laughs> minutes later. He's like, you're joking with me, right? I'm like, how bad do I look? Golly. He's like, no, it's just Dude. you've accomplished so much. You know, it's, 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 it's like, just okay. the beard. Yeah. That's all it is. It has yeah. to be the beard. People yeah. in their 20s are not supposed to have beard uh, beards down to their navels. That's true. That yeah, that is option. honestly my only flaw. Yeah. Physically. I don't yeah. know. Literally. That's not a flaw, one. dude. Yeah. 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 Mm, I'm jealous. Mm, 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 mm. Feeling good. Feeling 30 and flirty, baby. <laughs> 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 Yikes. Ew. All righty. 
Okay, so Lily's the last one that's under 30. Ooh. Ooh. What a Youth. child. Youth. A child. So immature. When are you getting rid of the baby off the couch? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the toddler? <laughs> Oh, how does it feel? It feels good. I feel I feel um, limber. Mm-hmm. I feel mm. I have a new sense of purpose and drive and will. And um, I don't know. I feel, uh, to be honest, I feel like giving up. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. That's, yeah. And really you went to up. Idaho for your birthday. I you did go to Idaho. How was that? It was so much fun. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot. There was snow. There was mountains. Did anything crazy happen? Um, there was. Yeah. And I can't go into quite detail right now. Give it like I, a little, a little teaser. Though. Okay. So I, uh, I ran into, I ran into a guy, uh-huh. bumped into him accidentally. I was at the restaurant walking through trying to go to the bathroom, bumped into him. Guess who it was? Who? Guess. Um, um movie star, big movie star. Um, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. I no ran into way. Hugh Grant and believe it or not, I didn't even know. He didn't even recognize it because apparently when he was like a will, like, you know, he was like the Oompa Loompa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff hasn't worn off. So he's actually was smaller. So I was like, wait, that's not Hugh Grant. And I looked closer. It was, in fact, no way. Hugh Grant. I and thought Hugh Jackman played the Oompa Loompa. No, Hugh Jackman was the guy who played the um, the elf in uh, Elf. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. But it was fun. It was a that's good time. Cool. Yeah. Hugh Grant punched me in the face. That's like the long story. Yeah, okay. The story. Yeah, he punched me in the face. So you gave all the details, really? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm, I'm really glad I had a good time too. Yeah. I'm really looking f- forward to remembering those memories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, hey, Lil. Hey. This is probably the fastest we've ever gotten into a song. Probably. Would you like a song? Yes. Ooh. Do you think one day she'll say no? Maybe. <laughs> but I think we'll uh, be ready for that day though. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I'm twangy. Lily, eyes up here, eyes up here. I was distracted. Up, boop, 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 back boop, straight, boop, 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 good posture, good posture. It's like uh, the, screen. the photographer oh, yeah. at a, like at the school's school picture day. Up, 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 right here. Just playing with whatever toys Dude, and, and when stuff. They would be like, okay, turn your knees this way. Turn your shoulders actually a little this way. Tilt your chin this. Oh no, too far. Go back this way, and then you're just like <laughs> you're like I'm in second grade. <laughs> I don't need this. What's happening? <laughs> this is my picture. This is so unnatural. <clears throat> okay, so oh. I think I think we should just what's what the memories of your past. Let's yeah, yeah. what the memories. Yeah, because I had I, I I don't know if you guys knew this. I had a Justin Bieber haircut before Justin Bieber was a thing. Yeah, 2008. I so had Justin the, got it after you. Yeah, he kind of. I, I think he saw me Whoa, oh in the yeah. same restaurant we went and uh, we saw, and he was like, "That's a cool haircut." He's like, "Why is that that 40 year old man over there?" He like, said, "I'm 12." He's like, "He's like, oh baby, baby, oh, I like that hair." It was like, and then he got the idea for the song. Oh, yeah. So it's all coming together. Yeah, <laughs> I see. <clears throat> a little history. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. Let's just let's just go with something. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Why don't you open your eyes? This is ninjas or butterflies. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Episode 76. I thought that by now I'd be done with it. But I guess I was wrong. I guess we were wrong. You farted on my heart. You tore it all apart. You took the stinky mess and you made it all yours. Yeah, you made it all yours. Butterflies, welcome to the show. Open your eyes. Yeah, just open your eyes. Farting on my heart, you tore it all apart. You took the stinky mess and you made it all yours. Yeah, you made it all yours. Ninjas are butterflies. Welcome to the show. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. The CIA killed JFK. Broke our hearts. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. The CIA also killed MLK. Can't believe it. What did they say? What did they say? You took it all apart You did the ziggy mess And you made it all yours Yeah, you made it all yours Ninjas are butterflies Welcome to the 
welcome to the show. Open your eyes. Yeah, open your eyes. Big boy is Andy's dad. What a conumptuation that is. <laughs> what a conumptuation that, that is. is. Ninjas are butterflies. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Open your eyes. Yeah. Just oh. open your eyes. I think the word was conundrum. Yep. Conundrum. <laughs> what did I even say? Conundrum. Condensation. I don't know. Condensation that is. <laughs> wow, that's su- I'm super condensated right now, dude. Yeah, that was special. That uh, was special. That's such a fun song. What'd you think? Okay. Force laugh. Force laugh. I loved it. I loved it. Well, we wrote that literally on the way when you're on your way over here. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. And Andrew killed it on the guitar. Yeah, that was perfect. You farted on my heart. <laughs> it's my favorite line. <laughs> it's really good. But you know what's also really good? What? If you guys just be quiet for one second. Chill. Don't tell me to chill. Chill. You know. No. You know that. Hey! Don't. Calm down. No, you calm down. Stop talking, please, because this is so important. Okay? <laughs> this is so important. And I know we joke a lot on here. We do. We do. (laughs) But we have a question today. And we need to answer it. Not for us. Not for them. Not for everyone. But for us. You originally said not for us. Today's question, sent by a viewer. Did the NFL invent chemtrails? Did the NFL <laughs> hey. invent chemtrails? Yeah, I think so. I think I, I think all the evidence points to them. I would say so too. Yeah. I think I have to agree with you guys. You know evidence. What, why well, here's the, the thing. Andy, <laughs> let's think about this for a second. The NFL, Okay. one of their teams is the Jets. Jets. Oh. <laughs> yes, Jets have wings. Wings? The person that invented chicken, chicken wings was Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Sanders. Military in the position in the military. Military Military are doing things to steal our information. Steal steal, Steelers. Football team. NFL. NFL. You know what another team in the NFL is? The Jets. The Jets. Jets Jets have have wings. wings. They fly through the air. They fly through the air. And they release chemtrails. The NFL, NFL invented, invented chemtrails? Welcome to the show. Oh my goodness. Why Roger Goodell? <laughs> Why? Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas are dead. I think with that, I mean, we what's follow your, the, What's your deal? We, follow the, a deal? we follow the paper trail, right? I mean, it, book them. <clears throat> yeah. Life in prison, I'm, as far as I'm concerned. What you think of the drink? It's not bad. Yeah. It's le- less carbonation than I what expected. What do you think of the drink? <laughs> Good, because it's your last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Good. thanks for the cheesecake. You're welcome. We watched at your recommendation, Griselda. Griselda, yes. Regret. You regret it. Why? It's a horrible story. It's a new Netflix. Uh, it's a based on a true story. First of all, yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, so respect history. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's on Netflix. Tell everyone about it. What's it about? <clears throat> it's um, about a this, this loving narco. family <laughs> that decide to move away from their old rickety town. Yeah, and make a life for themselves in Miami. Wow, that sounds great. Mm-hmm. Very wholesome. 
And that's it. <laughs> no, it's about uh, the female lady, narco. Yeah. Who Pablo Escobar said, that's the, the one, he said, the one man I fear is a woman and her name is Griselda. Yeah. Which is scary. And she was scary. <laughs> yeah, was dude. she intense? Unhinged. Yes. I haven't watched it all, so I need to, I need to finish it. Yeah. So. Do you know that was one of her first roles acting in Spanish? Like fully Spanish? Yeah. No way. She did an interview where she's like, I'm not used to being like an actual like Spanish speaking character. Yeah, dude. Wow. It's almost all in Spanish. Really? Which is she really killed cool. it. See, that's why I wish I knew Spanish or other languages like German or whatever like that. Because when we I watch Dark or I watch Griselda or whatever, I have to like be looking at the screen. Mm -hmm. And it's like a lot of the times I don't have time just to sit down and watch it. I want to yeah. do it while I'm cooking or something and I can't do it. Yeah. So I just have to guess. Just yeah. have to listen to their tone and their voice and like someone's gonna get killed right now but it was like funny though that's why you liked it so much is because you weren't understanding what they were saying <laughs> yeah this is pretty good <laughs> uh, it was because we were watching it last night while lily was like hanging up clothes in the closet mm -hmm. so i was reading the subtitles i'm like what why would he say that <laughs> and she's like what did he say i'm like do you you were listening i'm like oh yeah it's in <laughs> spanish i'm reading it you heard it i don't have to repeat it oh uh, hey but before we get started mr andy yes <laughs> You want some birthday presents? Oh, please. Oh, please. This is just a, a little, little 30 year old Andy. You want a birthday present? <laughs> <laughs> that was full cheesecake, dude. Also, we're laughing at the beginning oh, is yeah. because he started singing the song when we wanted it to be a surprise oh. and he realized it. And what did you say? I was like, you go, I tore it a little part. And I was like, oh, <laughs> are we going to light these candles? You go, you go, oh, oh, man. <laughs> Are we going to light these candles or what? <laughs> just try to change the subject. <laughs> I'm going to just stop talking. Dude, I didn't even, because I, I don't register half the things you guys are saying because it's usually oh something gosh. weird. <laughs> so <That's> funny. funny. <laughs> All right. Well, we each got you a present. And I'm excited about it because I know you guys care a lot about me and mm -hmm. I know you care. You put a lot of thought into these uh, presents. And so I'm just excited to. So this one's from me. Okay, cool. So did you get it from Amazon? Uh. Some or this is this a hint? This is a hint. It is a hint. <laughs> You're dude. Yeah. So dog. basically, I cool. got this because of that one time <gasps> no that we were talking way. about um, Griselda. No yeah, bro. And like you know, and like she Hispanic. loves tortilla chips. Yeah, she does. <laughs> So, dude, thank you. You're welcome. Seriously, dude, if you had any part of this, guys, thank uh, you so much. I that was that, that was all him. That's amazing. I love that. <clears throat> I'm psyched. Exactly Wait. Yeah. Go. Okay. Why don't okay, you go so sit down and explain it to him? Thank you. Can you? Um, what do you want? Uh, oh yes. Listen. Here's a, here's a plate. Uh, if you're here's listening, support. Lily has hit so pause Lily. on the podcast so she can get a piece of cheesecake. Lily, just pick one, please. Can you tell me we're we're we're, we're doing um, we're giving Andy can gifts? You chill out? Can you tell me about my gift? Like why you got it for me? Um, because you're a dear friend. Mm-hmm. And you deserve to be celebrated. Okay. What's like what, what specifically like, like, what, like, what, inspired, like what inspired you to get Just this gift remind, exactly? It reminded me. Put of that you. in your mouth, like this. It reminded me of you. Mm -hmm. And in what way though? Your because humor, of my because of my love of because of your love of skincare. Skincare. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to this. No way, wow. Lily salsa. That's so cool. You wow. know, that totally I, makes sense. You know, I use salsa to literally rub on my face every morning because that's my skincare routine. Because Griselda <laughs> does, does it. it. Yes, yes. And she loves that's salsa exactly on her face. What? Oh man, happened? I'm really excited now. I can't. This is yeah. I'm, guys, incredible. This Thank is you actually so much. the second gift for me. That yes. um, <laughs> Andrew Andrew has the third the his gift, but I want to gift this one and describe it to you. Okay, um, perfect. This is actually yeah. from me and Lily. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, Lily, start off. Why Why did we get this one? Don't feel too much. Yeah. Why did we get this one for Andy? I'm excited. Because you're so multi-talented. So multi-talented. And we're just blown away with your fascination of space. Yes. Mm -hmm. We know that you love you, space. I can't talk. I stop talking about it. I know. You won't. Shut up about it. I know. And sometimes I'm like, Andy, please stop. And I'm like, I can't. Space. I can't. So all that to say, that's what inspired okay, this Okay, I'm so. excited. This is great. <laughs> what is it? Oh. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. Because <sighs> we know that Griselda 
Yes. She was also fascinated by space. And guess what her favorite drink was? Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. Yes, I remember that because yeah. the mountain and the and dew, dew on the mountain, mountain and then the snow on the mountain that also represents mm -hmm. co cocaine. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And, All right. Thank then, you. You guys are the best. Yeah, we know. You're literally the best. We Thank know. you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on ice. <laughs> there's, there's one more gift. Um we know that it's outside you're, you're you're sometimes parked. you're sometimes a little <laughs> sensitive and I'm not sensitive. Josh and I have we talked about it and we were like let's just make sure Andy feels like he's part of the team. Like mm. he has everything he could possibly need. So No way. A brand new car? Yes, actually it's in my truck. Oh wait, oh. no you got it out of the truck. Yeah, I got it oh, out okay, of the truck. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> so I, this is I you, didn't, you didn't think it was I was giving you my truck. <laughs> no, I would, I would definitely not. I would just, I just figured because yeah. anyway, we were talking. I it's was like, I really, I really need, like, I need, really need like the car because I, I've been walking and right. You know, my kids have to walk to school and, and yeah. you have seven cars. Yeah, and you have like, but you know cars. what you can use to help your kids walk to school. What is it? Oh man, no way. Is it what I think it is? It is. I've been wanting one of these forever. If it's what it. A slingshot! Yay! Hey, that's actually really freaking dope. This is the same one you got, right? Yeah. We could shoot each other. Yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, we can that's so fun. That's so fun. fun. That's, that's so, so fun. fun right now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I can't wait to get in on that. What? Dude, yeah. You guys are wacky. You need to come up. <laughs> I suppose. You're like this. <laughs> I just want some this cheese piece cake. of cheesecake. <laughs> and I'm just going to stand here and go, nah. Whoa. But I love you. But darling, I love you. But tell us, I love you. What's going on? What's Nothing. In, what's in your head? Nothing. Something. Nothing, sir. Something. We did have a stressful oh, I'm not, day. I'm not stressful day morning. Yeah, we took okay. Ada to a a um, doctor thing, and they were like, "What's the verdict?" She is a monkey. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you got a oh. second opinion it, on it. It to makes confirm. sense because she was always going. Ooh, <laughs> We're like, what in the world? We need to throw her poop at us. It was like, <laughs> what's going on? This we is crazy. In, like, this is a chimpanzee. It took an hour and 45 minutes, legit. And they're like, yeah, she's a monkey. <laughs> You're walking out. Doctor stands. Doctor's there. <laughs> You're like, oh, doc, uh, didn't expect you back so soon. Gotten the results? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's a chimpanzee. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope this is the uh, first podcast Joe Rogan actually sits down and tries to listen to. <laughs> it's like, what the? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> but really. Yes. Speaking of chemtrails, I saw this thing. This is actually the second time I've seen it where the the a weatherman is like pointing out a a uh, forecast or showing the radar and like this big like storm formation or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, just so you know, this uh, this isn't a storm. This is just military exercise. It's like popping up on the radar, looking like a storm. Yeah, did it again. Like that was in like California, I think. California. <laughs> I don't think I was in I California. Said, like, <laughs> that was in California, I think. Right off of Sunset Boulevard. Take off a left. Off I ninety five. <laughs> um, but this one was in like the Michigan area, I believe, Midwest, and. The weather, it was like a, it was a, tw a tweet. I'll give you the tweet after this. But they were basically like, this is not a weather formation. This is the military dropping uh, chaff. Chaff. Or ch chaff or chafe? Like wheat? Chaff. Like the wheat? C-H-A-F-F. Chaff. 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 And it's like, mm, what is chaff? Well, chaff is... Shreds of aluminum, fiberglass, and plastic Why? used by the military to trick radars. What? So it's, oh. it's basically a blanketing system yeah. to where you can't, the radars cannot penetrate through it. And they've been doing that all over the U.S. And and so it's just, literally just like, it's just particles AKA in the air. <laughs> glitter, bro. Or glitter. Whoa, glitter! Dude. Bro. Andrew, Andrew, that's where the glitter's going. It's disguising it's the radar, radars. Radar blockers. The military is buying our glitter. Do we just blow the roof off this thing? Can you? 
Can you imagine being in like gnarly conflict and it was supposed to just be like the clear glitter, but for some reason they sent the pink like, stuff. Yeah, the, the, the rainbow glitter. It's like, just, what the? this yeah. is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, because it could just be metallic. It could yeah. be, I mean, I don't know what the materials would be, but golly, that's crazy. Some would yeah. say it's aluminum, fiberglass, and, yeah. you know. Wait, but that's poison. Is that raining down on us? Yes. Yeah. Did the thing that I showed you. Yeah, the snow thing. Yeah, have you seen this? No. This this chick is talking about like the rain is now toxic. Yeah. And she catches uh or no, not rain, snow. Snow and uh she takes a cup, scoops it up, melts it down, and then takes a magnet on the side and it's not dirt in the snow, it's literally pulling to the magnet all the debris from the snow. Weird. Dude, literally but, uh, don't that. don't eat the snow. <laughs> Dude, don't but eat the snow. it's like <laughs> so they're doing that. And it's just like when we see these planes with the when they're like so high leaving this jet stream mm. chemtrail, and it's just like, dude, that's not just like a commercial airline. Like, what are they doing? And but then those they they spread out. You know that they do. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And I think it was Prince. You see that interview with like Prince a while back. Oh yeah, he was like on Letterman or something. Yeah. Yeah. He I talked about. What did he have to say about it? He said that his neighborhood was everyone was getting along. And s until all these weird clouds started showing up in the skies and then everyone was angry with each other and crime went up like uh, sleep deprivation, all the stuff within his neighborhood. How poetic of him. I know. And now he's dead. Uh oh. Hey, hit me with the some of that. CIA volume. killed all <laughs> Prancer. It's rain and purple. <laughs> <laughs> glad I glad. Hey, purple rain. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's give it up for Josh, everybody. Woo! Thanks, guys. There we go. Yeah. That was actually a really good that connection. Good. That was a great connection. <laughs> so, the um, hook. Did you know Prince invented chemtrails? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you know Prince was... Did you guys know that Prince was killed because of his information that he had regarding chemtrails? <gasps> <laughs> we got to. That's going to be fair right or real. Now. You guys <laughs> will just wait. <laughs> um... But yeah, and then you showed me right before the podcast. He's like, "Did you know there's a conspiracy regarding fog?" I said, "What?" <laughs> Hold up. I said, "Tell me more, Andy." He said, "I didn't actually. I don't know any information <laughs> about it." The but, thing is, I see some stuff, and I'll like, I'll just hear the first five seconds. I'm like, "That's Josh video." <laughs> so like, just for him to listen to. Literally, like, when I went when I went and went poo poo, I just read and I found a CIA document about it. Weird. Yeah. So what do you mean? The, like, what did it say? The CIA in 1967, they were doing tests to see how they can implement man-made fog into, um, I feel like I'm talking like yeah. that, and then this, uh, but implementing like man-made fog to basically to where no one can drive. Mm -hmm. And so they had like four stages. Wow. So they had the normal, they had 10% fog, was it 25% and 40%. And so they're doing all these tests. I didn't, I barely read it because like, yeah, I was there's pooping. so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a legit CIA document and we'll link it in the bio. Cause people are always asking us for references. Sorry guys. We never give a reference to anything. No. We try to, but it's hard. And that's because we make everything up. <laughs> no, Listen, I, it took me 20, 20 days to write this document. Yeah. <laughs> but this, uh, what I found weird so you guys can see it. it's a legit from CAA.gov, right? Yeah. Um, came out in 1967 about all these tests. Wasn't released to the public until 2008. And then, but at the bottom of it, it literally says top secret. So like, I want to like dive further into this whole For fog. For real, wow. dude. I mean, because, I know it no, sounds. It's because the one chick on the TikTok was talking about <clears throat> this past week or something. There was, um. What what was the word? Something fog fog. Basically, to where you're advised not to drive because of thick fog. Fog advisory. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're, you're what is it called? With, I was yeah. thinking so hard on that. I made it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it literally stretched from the tip of the United States to the south of the United States, like the middle portion of America, all the same exact day. Oh my gosh. Fog advisory. Weird. Yeah. Now that's, I know that sounds crazy to people like chemtrails and all that stuff. And no. you look in that whole documentary and that, I mean, the conspiracy video about people talking about fog, everyone was like, or it's just called fog or it's like warm no. ground, cold air, you know, like, and they're making her feel dumb. But 
if the military can produce something for cheap that's affordable that is a that's strategic in wartime that deters from any signals getting through it's like in radars of course they're going to duplicate everything they yeah. can like they're going to make it look as real as possible like it's not out of the realm of possibility i'm so sure if- the creative meaning went okay we have all of these tactical approaches to like combat and stuff like that but what are the vulnerabilities that we can't predict things that we can't control yeah. and somebody was like weather weather and they're like somebody get on it yeah, yeah. What, question it, it stops people from moving you know people like people literally cannot drive through it like it's like it's literally controls people yeah so it's like why would the government not be interested in that yeah, yeah. so it's typically cold air on warm surface right yeah so when it's if, been super cold well we're thinking oh. like i'm thinking if they have lasers that can heat stuff up if they used like minor laser, like just enough to warm the ground right before a cold front came in, that'd be a way of doing it. Star Wars, baby. Mm. Mm. Never mm. liked it. Live long and prosper. Um, Dumbledore said that. May the prosper be with you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. But um, that, but people are in the comments are literally saying, "I've lived here. The fog's been like this for three days. It's not like this. Yeah, it smells weird. Like there are people who live there." That can actually attest, like, hey, this isn't normal. Yeah, and that one uh, chick's point, I can't, I, people get mad when I say chick. That one lady's Chicks point. And dudes. The one lady's point on TikTok was like, dude, if they were producing real results of creating this fog yeah. in the 60s, imagine what they can do now. Totally. With yeah. the technology and like all that jazz. Yeah. Moore's Law, right? Moore's Law, not Occam's Razor. Not Occam's Razor. You use Harry's razor. If you use NAB's uh, discount code, you get ten percent off. <laughs> I uh, I'm having an issue where I'm labeling and mislabeling phenomenons. <laughs> okay. And nobody phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at both of you. You need a conundrum. <laughs> Anytime Lily says phenomenon, he goes <laughs> phenomenon. One of our big projects. One of our big projects. Here's a sneak peek. Sunday cool customers is we're launching a a website 2.0 like a revamped website mid-February. Spoiler alert. Not everyone knows that. And we're having creative meetings around copy. So, like, what's our language as a company? Like, you know, instead of saying fast shipping, we're saying, like, lickety split shipping or something like that. Like, figuring all that out. Something cute. And I kept saying, we're doing a pinky promise pledge. But originally it was written peaky swear pledge. And I said, guys, it's got to be all peace for onomatopoeia. And I said that, like, seven times. More than that. And then... The next day, Danny goes, you mean alliteration? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Wait. And I'm like, why didn't you correct me 37 <laughs> times ago? That's hilarious. Because what is on uh, on a Pia? It's like Meow. an exclamation, like, crash. Yeah, like, boom. Any, like, yeah. Scat. Boom, boom, boom. Clap. Scat. Ooh. I like that word. Yeah. Scat. What does that mean? Poop. I also think, like, uh, scat man. I'm the scat man. Beep, bop, 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 bop. You remember that song? Oh, yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the scat man. This, we're everywhere today. I know, dude. I know. I'm tired. Same. Sweepy. Dude, I woke up four times last night for no reason. No caffeine before going down to bed. It was like one of those nights where you just stare at the ceiling and think about, I'm not asleep right now. That's the worst. It's yeah. the worst. And then you get mad and you're yep. just like, just go to sleep. Yep. Now. And then you start like thinking about something. You're like, what am I doing? Go yeah. to sleep. I got up and went to the kitchen. Wasn't thirsty. I was like, I'm just going to drink water because I feel like I need to do something different. I'm standing in the kitchen, staring into the blackness of night, just having an existential crisis. And they say it's the worst to get on your phone when you're dealing with that. Yeah. But I always get on my phone. Yeah. Then so I'm, like, I, well, I'm like, if well, it's well, bad this, for me, this, why do I do it all the time? I'm trying to think of like, this will distract me from what I'm thinking about. But, but then I see someone, I'm like, oh, then now nah, this is distracting see, me. See, yeah. I figured read. out, I figured out the trick though. No, you can't, you can't do like social media. Cause you never know what you're going to swipe to next. What might get you going. I watch like hunting, like ASMR hunting things where it's just dudes walking through the woods, stalking stuff. It's completely boring and quiet. Now I'm loading my gun and I'm asleep. <laughs> 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 and, but I did have one night where they actually like shot something and that woke me up quite terribly. Someone said they fall asleep to our podcast. I'm like, that sounds like a nightmare. How? What? That yeah. sounds like- <laughs> 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 we get really quiet. No, get real, get really quiet. Hi, Josh. How are you? Today is Andy's birthday. My God! <laughs> 
It's gonna be great. Someone's yeah. gonna someone just <laughs> served off the road. <laughs> no, no, be careful. Oh, uh, it's like system of a down in here. Yeah. Did you guys see that Amelia Earhart was found? Yep. Ish. Well, yeah, maybe. it's suspected, right? Let's just say she was found. <laughs> well, well, my source from NAB said, "I'm putting it all on Amelia being found." <laughs> All in, baby. Did the crab show uh, show up with her? They did not. No? No. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Our queen. We're done with her. <laughs> I don't know why crabs talk like aliens. <laughs> they probably they are. could be. Yeah. Dude. dude, fun fact about um, crabs. Uh, Tell me. Real quick. Really weird. I think, what, what is the uh, ratio for the percentage for right-hand, left-handed people? It's like 30-70, I think. I have no it, idea. It's the exact same for crabs. What for those, cra- for those crabs for, for the crabs that have the uh the big the big claws and the ones that have the small claw it's always the se- it's the exact same percentage the right claw is the big hand, the big claw I don't I like that I don't believe in coincidences no I mean like that just seems like I don't know it's very it's very interesting do all animals in the animal kingdom have handedness I don't know but the crab this one crab has just the bigger onomatopoeia the bigger claw. <laughs> 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 you know what they say when in Rome onomatopoeia. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no. I do like zebras lead with one hoof. Interesting. I Let's don't go know. push them. To see yeah. what it, like push it and to see what, and put, see put, what yeah. <laughs> puts it out first. Oh, the zebra is goofy <laughs> footed. <laughs> um, wait, but, back to Amelia Earhart. Yeah, sorry to distract you. She, I, I really liked the theory that she crash landed on an island and and made friends, starved and to death, lived forever. <laughs> like that's the yeah, solution. <laughs> no, like no, with she started a new life. She's like. I'm done with this life of flying around the world and doing what man tells me to do. I'm going to live with these locals on this remote island. That's, <laughs> That's how they all talk. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the, the transatlantic accent. Yeah. They, but she had a husband. Oh. Maybe he was not nice, though. But I let me look it up. No, I, I think, think he maybe was he was nice. really nice. No, I, I think, think he, was he nice. was the one that gave her the plane. Ooh. Oh. So <laughs> that makes like... Wait, don't... We had different reactions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, explore that. I just think it's a sweet gift. Or he was supporting her, and she was a first or in the Lily. pilot. <laughs> or she gave him she he gave her this plane to ultimately crash into where he could profit off of her death. Well, he had like an insurance policy on he her. Pro- I, I heard that he actually wrote a book about her life and death yeah. before she even took off. I read. I read it. He said that. Are he, you making that up? No, 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 no. It's a book. I'm he not. said you're literally. You're I'm, no, I'm Why not. Are you look it, like look that? it up. Look it up. He said in the book he didn't think women could be pilots, but she wouldn't quit nagging, so he went ahead and bought the plane. You guys are lying right now. It's historical. What are you talking about? Guys, if you're making this up, that's a horrible rumor to start about what? Amelia Earhart's husband. <laughs> Why would we do that? Okay, just go look it I'm up. Gonna, I'm sure he's going to be really upset, too. <sighs> yeah, we made that up. <laughs> um, but you should look up his net worth. Uh, he's dead now, but his, what he was worth. George P. Putnam. Putnam. They, Putnam they wait, were not, not married wait. when she died. <laughs> he probably divorced her. Right oh, they divorced. Died. My brain did this. I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> if they weren't married before she died, <laughs> why did we both? <laughs> he married that Amelia, huh? Why did we both think? <laughs> we both went. <laughs> Amelia Ar- Earhart reluctantly married her public relationships manager George Putnam in 1931. Reluctantly, but public relationship manager. I PR. guess. I guess you could say. Did he have an insurance claim on her? Okay, Amelia Earhart and are George we, Palmer are we Putnam. Starting a conspiracy right now. After Earhart's transatlantic passenger flight publisher and PR wizard Putnam became her manager. In 1931, she married him hesitantly on the condition that they would separate in a year if unhappy. Though some called it a marriage of convenience, they remained together. They were only together for like He got her well. So. Though, right? There had to have been something to where when, no, she they, died, yeah. when she died, he got all of her wealth. Somebody did a TikTok entitled, Amelia Earhart's husband remarried the same year she died. Dang! <laughs> Hold on. Wow, he Andy. really putting them her in her place. I don't know. <laughs> is it, what but, is putting them? Putting them. That's his last name. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, tell it to me again. That's wild. This is a portion of the podcast. Where he really 
flew the coop. <laughs> that doesn't connect. No, no. He really planed to kill her. They were going to get a divorce? That was plain to see. Oh. Okay. Hey, sorry, guys. We're just winging it. Couple. <laughs> <more>. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. Crash. <laughs> Onomatopoeia. <laughs> Couple more and she'll finish watching the TikTok. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> this is like, obviously this something we need to look into. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> but no, speaking of Amelia Hurt being found in us finding out just now that her ex-husband killed her <laughs> for hey, her... Hey. Allegedly. No, I'm going to say that. We don't know! Allegedly. It's a conspiracy. We got that. Don't go anywhere. It's Andy's birthday, but more importantly, we have something to say. Wow, you just have such a good singing voice. I'm glad I, you said that. Hey, I just wanted to sing to you. I appreciate that. And yeah. I, that's the best gift you could ever give me. But I have something to gift to you guys. Because what? listen, you guys have been so generous on my birthday. I want to give it back to you. And now, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's Sunday Cool, where we work. This legitimately why this podcast exists. Guess what? We do custom merch and apparel. And we, are, we specialize in water-based ink screen printing. But guess what? Just when you thought our shirts couldn't get any cooler. Josh, mm -hmm. guess what we came up with? Tell me. <laughs> it's called Water, Water Reveal. Reveal. Guys, it's a print. You have a wonderful design on your shirt. You're mm -hmm. walking around. It's really cool. Then suddenly, someone pushes you into a pool, and you come out with an even cooler design. Why? Because we have a special magic ink that's called water reveal ink and it's incredible and you can use it for baptisms pool parties what other things where you get wet possibly in the gym where you sweat yes so all you got to do is go to sundaycool.com forward slash water reveal go check it out yes you know what i'm really hungry well you're gonna and i don't feel like i have enough time to eat the whole thing like take multiple bites so you're gonna put the whole thing in your mouth i guess <gasps> Why do I feel the weird urge to do the exact same thing? Mm. Oh, shit. Ew, Lily, don't eat it out of the trash. Lily, stop! That's disgusting. That's weird. Get you out like, of there. You look like a raccoon. Ew! Hey, do you like spicy food? I love spicy food. You bought them habanero hot sauce. Dude, he, you know what I hate? Spicy food. People oh. who like love spicy food but don't act like it's spicy. Yeah, me too. It's like I like it because it's spicy. Because it makes me sweat and like make me hallucinate a little bit. It's like that's the whole point. Yeah. It's like, They're the it's same people that wear shorts in the winter. <laughs> What's wrong with cold. that? I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. I'm from Montana. I don't get I don't get cold. <laughs> I'm not even that cold. I don't, need, I don't need jeans. Though. There's a guy on TikTok that's like how everyone expects you to react whenever you tell them you're like, you're not cold. <laughs> you're wearing like a short sleeve and shorts and stuff. He's like, dude, I'm not even cold. And I'm like, what? This guy's different. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> clapping. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Not uh, even a little bit. Was that ad fun though? I had a blast, man. I yeah. can't believe you sang to me. I can't believe you ate an entire cheesecake in <laughs> one bite. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe that either, man. Yeah, that was crazy. But I really appreciated you joining me and joining with me in the end with your own slice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but then I remember spitting in the trash can. It's okay. Don't do that. That's wasteful. But then I remember <laughs> Lily going in the trash can and eating no. that. That Cheese was. That I, spit I out. never I'm saw like, that. What are you doing? Stop. No, that's weird. Yeah. You uh, said, uh, I'm out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you know something I said when we were, we were watching Griselda was, you know, when she starts doing crack. <laughs> I, I haven't watched it that far, oh. but I can imagine <laughs> it happens probably pretty early into the series. You know I when imagine. she just starts doing crack? <laughs> I said, is that what crack looks like? It's kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of pretty. And yeah. then she made the joke. It's like, what if all these... These girls out there collecting crystals, they don't know that they're just correct <laughs> collecting crack. And they're like, no wonder you feel different when there's crystals around. No wonder you feel this crack. good energy. You're just getting uh, contact. What are you doing? This is bad for you. Is that a, is that a meth rock? What are you doing? <laughs> no. No, it's this crystal. This is my birthstone. I and thought, it heals me and makes me fall asleep. Okay. Let me, let me ask this. Where did you buy that crystal? <laughs> 
from Will behind the Dollar General. The bridge. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> meth. The bridge. <laughs> Honey, that's meth. I need you to put it down. <laughs> You're also going to rehab now. Uh, no, it helps me stay awake. <laughs> I sure it does. <laughs> oh, but you know what time it is. Do it. Question, 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 Ooh, because okay. I surf and those are the ones that bite everybody. If I could be in the water and not think about sharks, knowing those things weren't there, yeah, I'd be much happier. I just told you yesterday that um, the girls and Kelsey started yeah. watching Soul Surfer, oh, but dude. they didn't know what it was about. Really? Kelsey's like, oh, it's a Christian movie. I didn't know that. And we were, I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's a Christian movie, but you just wait. And then suddenly she's out there and swimming, and then suddenly the shark comes out of the water, and just bites her arm off. Yeah. And then Demi's just like. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. <laughs> like, I, was like, I don't know if this is good for them or not. Um, I think I would do just because it's the first thing that popped in my mind that like an animal that truly scares me. And I just know I'm never going to come in contact with one, but it just makes me feel safer. And I feel better <laughs> at night if I know they're not there anymore. Yeah. Orangutans. Really? What? They're sweet. Have, dude, I just have this one video that I saw of orangutan. They're pulling the He's literally just standing there. Ew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, just yeah. looking at you. And I'm like, he's like literally um, probably like six feet tall. I'm like, this is scary. I don't, he could like, rip me apart. It was at like a zoo in like Asia or something. They like grabbed the guy's shirt and started pulling him. And he like, he couldn't get out. And then they like grabbed his arm oh. through the cage. Dude. And dude. He's like, there's a, they could just go dude. easily like a paper towel, dude. And they go, <laughs> on, uh, oh on gosh. Andrew, Joe Rogan was on Andrew Schultz show and he was talking about monkeys and there's a monkey that, uh, that it was just sitting there. And like the guy was like talking to the monkey, you know, like doing nothing, little, little one. And it decided it was going to grab his face. And it, he said it, he just, he said it was like a subway foot long that just got pulled bro. off the, like bro. literally bro, just <laughs> grabbed and took it. Dude, that happens all the time. What was that family that they had? The chimp. A chimp, and it ripped her dude, face off. The yeah. 911 call. Have you heard that? Yes, dude, I okay, have. But dude, have you seen her face today? Yeah, yeah. I was scrolling it's, TikTok. It was like one of those nights where tragic, I could sleep. Dude. Tragic. <laughs> and I was scrolling, and it was like, it showed the picture of her like before, and it's like, and they're like playing like the 911 call. I'm like, what is this about? Swipe. Ah. Yeah. Dude. Tragic, dude. Terrible. I can't, like, it's it's one of so the sca- sad. One of the scariest things I've ever heard. That's one of the worst recordings ever to like be put out. What did I? I don't know. We probably talked about this on the podcast, but my dad said when he was in elementary, they brought a baby chimpanzee into the school, mm-hmm. and my dad's like, after that day, I've been afraid of chimpanzees. Really? He said because didn't do anything to anyone, but they gave it a tennis ball. This baby chimpanzee, and it goes, dude. <laughs> Just popped a tennis ball. Dude, the strength that animals have. Like I was I was on this Joe Rogan kick where he's talking about animal strength. He was talking about he was watching this grizzly attack a full grown moose and it caught up to it, which just thinking that they're that fast to catch up to one. Yeah. yeah. In one swing it hit the moose, broke the moose's back. Oh. Like just just in a punch. And then he was talking about wolves. They asked, Do you think you could like you you know, your fit guy, the MMA thing, do you think you could take a wolf? And he said, instantly no. not. I didn't know this. A wolf's bite, I think he said it's like four to five times stronger than a pit bull's. Like it's designed to it's, grab a femur and, and crack. Its teeth it, yeah. are different. Yeah, it's for crushing Bro. bone. So you think putting your arms up, it's just going to toothpicks, dude. <laughs> The the scene from the Revenant is what scares me all the time. Oh, yeah, I, dude. I, like I the part where the like scared of bears until that movie. Yeah, like just the part where it literally pinches the back and pull. I'm like, dude, that what a horrifying way to go. I need to show you guys the video that ultimately ultimately made me afraid of bears was they put a real life looking uh, mannequin dummy or whatever out just to observe how a bear would kill a person. Yeah, and they they pin it down and then they jump up and they doing that on the chest and on the back to collapse to crush you dude so my answer is grizzly bears (laughs) at first it was spiders 
But grizzly bears, 100%. I'm so afraid of bears. Yeah. Bears are scary, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I would say something like spiders. But honestly, the what or jellyfish. Yeah, but you can avoid those pretty easy. Mm -mm. Just don't no. go in the water. No, one time my my uh, teacher, Mrs. Baker, we go to church with her now. She told me that there's a species of, or a type of jellyfish that its tentacles are so long and so deadly that if you're standing in the water and you see its little cone above. Yeah, the box jellyfish. If you see that, you're you're dead. Like it's going to hit you. No. Because their tentacles are so long. That I thought the box jellyfish had short tentacles. So if, do, so if you see they, it. But they also have the cone. So, so yeah. it's another type. If the you man see, war, which oh. isn't technically a jellyfish, has a sail, an inflated sail. Yeah, but those don't kill you all the time. They they're, can. A, they're a neuro. I got hit by one. Yeah. And four hours after the sting, I was still convulsing. Like, I was like, I don't understand why I'm shaking. He was but, just crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> it was uh, last year. Oh. Um. But I think that the most global impact, which I know is something that you should not be taking into account into the question based on the way that I worded it. Yeah, would it was, be, that was your own rule. Would be mosquitoes. Yeah. Ooh, good. That's a good. So they're wiping it. out civilizations. I hate mosquitoes. Yeah, that honestly is the smart choice. Dang but it. I also like <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. I know. I know. As soon as I make the decision that it's mosquitoes, I know one day I'm just gonna be walking late at night and I'm gonna turn an alleyway and there's gonna be an orangutan <laughs> there and it's gonna be like, <laughs> why? <laughs> I should have picked you, <laughs> dude. My uncle. Um, I think it was my uncle Jamie and maybe my other uncles. I don't know. You don't know the story. You might know the story, but this was years ago. They were fishing in the uh, Everglades and their uh, engine lost power and they could not get it started. And they're like way back there. And so they had to basically spend the night on the boat in the Everglades. Yeah. You don't get off and try to swim it in. And he said the mosquitoes, he said they were, it looked like they were just blanketed Bro. your skin oh my no. gosh all they they were wearing their like board shorts and like t-shirts and so they were like literally just like duct taping them and like duct taping their faces and like poking holes in it because he's like they were getting in our ears and our, crawling up our noses dude my gosh dude that's horrible and it's like can, no can you imagine colonizing florida that's what i'm saying yeah i've all i've always thought about that when i was little like how wild it was, yeah. wild and dense, and yeah. yeah, like not approachable. Yeah, you got swamps. Like yeah. you can't even fit a horse through like the underbrush. Yeah. That's what when we moved down here, I was just like, man, at least we'll be going somewhere like that doesn't have tornadoes. That okay, sure hurricanes, but I mean they give you a week, two weeks yeah. advance yeah, to yeah, get yeah, prepared yeah. for those. And I was like, that's better than tornadoes every single weekend in the springtime in um, the Midwest. But then I'm like, oh, you do have tornadoes. Yep. You guys do have hurricanes that wipe out the whole state. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, and there's like every animal, panthers, bears, snakes, everything. I'm like, this is everything in Florida was trying to kill you. It's pretty treacherous. And I was like, we think it's dangerous now, but back then it's like, imagine all of those animals that were there, that were thriving, that was, yeah. it's just difficult to, difficult to get through with the swamps yeah. and the marshes and stuff. So it's attacking you from everywhere. Do you see they're trying to bring, I think, what is it, leopards back into the United States? Why? Because they were... Uh, they were driven out because of poaching and like, you know, just for their pelts and stuff. But from Mexico, like the black leopard, oh, that's a jaguar, 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 okay. jaguar. Ja jaguar. Yeah. Let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that they're thinking about bringing jaguars back, uh, reintroducing them because they were driven out of the United States. And so they're like, if we're trying to rehabilitate these ecosystems, it would make sense that we bring them back. I'm where, just thinking where are like, they going to live uh, all over Is that, urban? like Southwest you see Colorado released a ton of wolves, like six wolves, and they're going to be repeat, repeatedly doing that throughout the year. And yeah. apparently a lot of people are angry about it. Well, they did like that. Like ranchers and stuff. They did that in Montana when I was living up there. They yeah. did it like 10 or 20 years prior to when I moved there. And they, but the difference was that they took the um, wolf that was native to Montana, and then they took the Yukon uh, wolf, or Siberian wolf, sorry, the Siberian okay. wolf, and basically create a new wolf. And these things, they're terrible. They're killing all the livestock and like, but they, it started off with like one pack, right? So it was yeah. like a pack of like six or 10. And then when I was over there, they're like, dude, there's like 50 packs of like oh 10. Gosh. So like they're taking over. So now they have hunting seasons for wolf, wolves. Yeah. So we created a sport. Yeah. 
Well, apparently oh, they're, they're incredibly also, important for the ecosystem, but I just don't know. Like, I, w- I want to get like a right. conservationist on here one day, like, or somebody that that would like that we can talk to about Bigfoot stuff and yeah. also animal stuff. It is supposed to help equal everything out, yeah. but they're they're saying that they're killing more of the elk than yeah. what is what they're supposed to be doing because yeah. they're like reproducing so fast and they're mean and they're huge. Yeah, they're dude. like double they're, the size yeah. of the native Montana wolf. They're like four times bigger than a coyote. Like, yeah. they're even bigger than that probably. It's but then that's something crazy too. Like coyotes are absolutely like taken over everywhere now. Like yeah. at every single. But you can state, shoot like a coyote in Florida without a license. Yeah, or, yeah. Because like they they are nuisance. Did you know that? I mean, I think I talked to you about this, but like how they do roll calls and stuff when they're howling yep. at nights. They'll do roll calls, and if a pregnant female doesn't hear, they don't hear response. The pack doesn't hear a response from males in the area, mm-hmm. and like maybe they're gone or dead or something like that. The biologically, the female wolf will, I mean, the coyote will start to reproduce more babies within the womb after it's all like just like a phantom. It just creates like she has to be pregnant already, but oh. she just literally starts creating Multiples? more more babies, more, um, uh, more of her litter. Cubs? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. To me. I don't know. That's that wild. Works. I don't know either. Dude, that's wild. I did, know. Did we talk about that uh, shepherd that was hunting coyotes? On the podcast, it wasn't a shepherd. It was it wasn't a German shepherd, but it was a type of shepherd. It was the white shepherd. No, it's the, it. the what's the what's those big white dogs? Pyrenees. Was it a Pyrenees? Or, I think it was. Might have been. Onomatopoeia. Yeah. Did did we? Onomatopoeia. Ta- Onomatopoeia. Shut up. Did did we Bark. tell that story though? Did we talk about it on the pod or no? no. Dude, have you heard this story? I don't think so. Okay, so there's this there's this farmer. He's got a big farm, and a bunch of coyotes. I think it was sheep. Start attacking the sheep. Well, the dog runs out, does what it's supposed to do. There's yep. two of them. It protects. One of them's pregnant, and so the the dude just goes after these coyotes and, like, kills a few of them. They run off, and then the dog runs off, and they're like, well, I guess that's, you know, there's, like, blood everywhere. They're like, I guess that's the end of that dog. And then neighbors, like, next day, it's like, hey, we just found a dead coyote on our property, and, uh, you know, heads up. Literally the next day, someone else found another, and it's all the farms in the surrounding area. Day by day, there's more dead coyotes showing up. This dog went out and hunted them down. How awesome is that? And then Dude, came back. Right? And came came back. He was missing his up. ear, missing his tail, like had some lashes and some broken ribs, but literally went like miles and miles and miles, pursued the pack until every one of the coyotes was done. Dude, and that's then came cr- back crazy the, the story's so happy oh. though because they were like you did your job and they moved it took him from an outside dog and they moved him into the house oh. so it was like a happy ending to like the entire Jeez. thing he needs a steak <laughs> for, for real. real that is a good boy hey good boy. i know you're hey, watching you're, a good, you're boy. a good boy good boy good boy we know you're watching um wolf hey give us a song there ace lady i was gonna say i'm surprised you didn't pick alligator Jake. that you're so scared of alligators. Uh, yeah, but just don't go in the lakes. It'll and you can just like leave Florida. On the shore. I, hate. I don't like, I like fishing on the bank, but you can't do that safely all the time here in Florida. Yeah. Post Malone. Ooh. Wait, no. Because <laughs> you started singing when I had yeah, one yeah, in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, um, Andrew has the real for us. And then, 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 us. Andrew has a reel for us. He's going to show us a new right now. Ooh, some things we just got to watch. And you think it's pretty cool. And I can't wait to see it. Because Andrew, Andrew has a real reel. <laughs> he has a reel for us. I sent it. We're bad. Volume matters. It's We're in bad. Ninja Clan. Text? All right, click it, but don't open it or don't hit play yet. Right, why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> you Excuse always me. mess it up. All right, ready? Three, two, one, play. I got the volume. Oh. All right. Happy birthday, Andrew. <laughs> I probably will be You're going to be a 29, I guess. Okay, I am. Uh, I guess. For you, by the Japanese. Hey, 
Thanks, Dad. That wow, is that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. He's the best. That is amazing. Everyone, go buy Funko um, Poke right now. Mandora, Florida, or go invest in some stock, or just mm-hmm. go sure give the them a five star Google review. Trust us, please. You been everyone, there. go bomb review. Oh my gosh, that's epic! Like five star bomb review. It's called Funko Poke Bowls, Mount Dora. It's in Mount Dora. Please, and don't make it good. Just don't make it about us. Literally, just say it's the greatest poke in the world because it actually is. I brought some it's to my incredible. family. Uh, my family from Hawaii was visiting, and I brought them some, and they were like, "I wouldn't." Like if we went and got this on our own, wouldn't be upset. They're like, this is the closest uh, to Hawaii we've had outside of the island. So yeah, that's awesome. It's good stuff. It is so good. We had it on Friday. Mm. I could have it every day. I had it. I'm gonna. I ain't ever gonna stop eating poke. <clears throat> I have a birthday surprise for you. No, really? Like an actual one? What is it? Is it a truck? I got the phone number. Of someone that we've talked about on this podcast. No way. And I just texted him. Wow. I said, are you available to talk now? Okay. I mean, Buzz Aldrin. Balls Aldrin? Balls Aldrin. No way. Yes. So, let's talk to Buzz. All right. Let me. I can't wait. My call. This is going to be exciting. The actual Buzz? Yes. The astronaut? Yes. Next to Neil Armstrong? Yes. Wow. All hopefully, right. Hopefully he answers. Yeah. It is. I'm excited. Golly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to ask him? What are we going to do? What? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Buzz Aldrin? Oi. Hey, Buzz. Hey, hey. hey this is uh, Josh Hooper. Remember we were talking earlier and I told you about our podcast that we have? Josh Hooper. Yes. Great to hear from you, mate. Yeah, Buzz Aldrin. Hi, hi Buzz. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, who's that? Then that, that is uh Andy Denoon. He's a uh, he's on the podcast. He's one of my buddies that does the podcast with Andy. me. Andy, I yeah. love that name, Andy. I, I gave I gave my uh, I gave my son that name. Really? Did he really? That is so cool. I didn't. Know that, that is so cool. Um, Buzz, yeah, can, yeah. can you tell us about the moon? Oh, he's you know he's big. He's big. Um, I think people. Uh, for me. And personally, I was on Earth and I'd look up. And it, 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 there's times it looked big, and then other times it looked not as big. Yeah. I know, right? But perspective wise, and uh, you you get up there and it's it's large. Wow, yeah. Buzz, I'm actually kind of I'm a little taken back. Like I from all the interviews, like I didn't know you had a British accent. Yeah, I mean, it is. Oh yeah, sometimes um, in uh, the U.S. I would do like an American accent because they wanted to, you know, oh, right. or not sending people to the moon. Uh, but this is me. This is kind of my casual round the house chit chat, jibber jabber. That's wow. so cool. So you said that you had a son named Andy. Were you like super close with him? Yeah. No, no unfortunately I had, I had Andy uh, right before Wait. I had to explore space and whatnot. So I was not able to spend really any time with him. Never, barely met him, hardly met him. So, uh, wh- when was the last time you saw your son? Oh, it's been ages. It's been absolutely ages. You know, it was I had I was I was holding that precious baby, and I said, oh, "I love this baby so much." And then NASA, the doctor had said, "Hey, uh, Buzz, it's it's NASA, and they want you to explore the galaxies." And I said, "Oh no!" But I've just had this baby, and they said, um, "I know, but you've got the rockets going." So I said, oh, well then, Andy, I, goodbye, and I left. Wait, so Buzz, back up just real quick. Um, of course. You, did, you didn't, by chance, have Andy in Montana, did you? You broke up, love. What was that? I said, you didn't, by chance, have Andy, your son, that you left. Was was he born in Montana? Montana. It's the most like the moon, Montana. First two words and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But was did was Andy was Andy born in Montana? Was your son Andy Mon- born in Montana? My son Andy was born in Montana. Yeah, that's correct. That's weird. You know that. But yeah, <laughs> okay, he was, hold on. What what year was he born? Ninety four. Was he was your son Andy born in nineteen ninety four? Nineteen ninety four. Yeah, nineteen ninety four. It was um just a few years after Taylor Swift was eighty nine. 
Okay. And it had been about five years, which would put it at 94. Right. Um, that Andy, my son Andy, came into this this big blue world in, in Big Sky, Montana. Wow. Um, uh, Buzz, I don't want to like kind of freak you out because I know of your age and stuff, but um, I think Andy Danoon, who's sitting right here, I think he might be your son. You, I'm, you might be my dad, Buzz. Andy? Dad? I've missed you. Andy, I, I just want to say I'm so proud of the man you've become. And I couldn't be, you know, a very good father to you because I was out exploring the galaxies and I had to visit all these planets and put American flags on all of them. Yeah, wow. I, yeah, yeah. It just was, there was no possible way I could have done, but hold on one second. Hey, that's a, that's a good job, Billy. Well done, mate. Who, that's a beautiful picture you colored. Who, I love that. Wait, who's, who is that? Oh, it's Billy, my son. Oh, oh. so, so you, you, you decide you have, you have another kid. Well, yeah, Billy, Billy I took Billy with me into the space, um, um, cause he was, you know, he was smaller. He was a little, he's a bit smaller. He didn't have the beard you have, you know, and the space shuttle isn't large. Right. I, I, I was, I was, I, you're saying I was, you left me as a kid because I was too fat for the space shuttle. No, it wasn't your weight, dearie. It was the beard. You were born with it. Wow. wow I, Okay, yeah, well, I guess well, that makes sense, I guess. That, I, I guess said, that makes this, sense. This bloke isn't going to fit on the shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that that's crazy to think about. Like, I I get it. Yeah. Why, um, why take me? Well, Buzz, it is. This is actually, this is um, this is something. Uh, this is Andy's birthday, so maybe do you have uh, words of advice to give to Andy from all your space exploration? I do. I've always had one thing. I love. I said, if I ever get to meet Andy again, I'd love to say one thing to him. Yeah. Andrew. Andy. Yeah. Hey dog. Shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Wow. That's like, hey. I mean, since we made this connection, Buzz, like maybe we can. Maybe we could connect you two, like in person, to where Andy could like actually finally meet you. I would love that. I would. I would love that so much. I'm so sorry. Uh, Billy was asking me a question about this Bluey episode. Just oh. give me one step. Oh, yeah, yes, sure. Billy, I'm here, and you have my undivided love and attention. Yes, go on. Yeah. Oh, yes. Character's name is Chili. Chili's the name of the character. What's that now? Go. We, we just say. Well, yeah. Yeah. Like, would you? Like, do you have time? Oh, do you have time in your write, Do you have time in your yes. schedule to maybe come meet your son physically, Andy, your son? I would love to write him a letter, a recommendation, or anything like that. That sounds great. Yeah, I think that would but be swell but meeting do. meeting him in person. Oh, love, you know, I I just wish I could, but it's it's I'm halfway to Ursa Major right now. Mm. I'm either either there or I'm right outside of Venice Beach. It's hard to tell yeah. when I look out the, at the craft, but but love, no, it's not going to be good for tomorrow or this week. Um, but what if we circle back? Could okay, we circle back. Yeah, yeah. Like be, um, we, when when would be good for you? Like, and I can reach out maybe next week or when would yeah. be next week? Um, sounds good. I'm out of town. For the first part, and then the, I got meetings, second half, but um, I think sometime after that would be when we could kind of settle down. Yeah, well... And then we'll... Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, can, we, we can work it out. Yeah, we can worry out the details. I love you, Dad. Do we, I, would love, I would love to work out the details, and yeah. I'll just, just never forget, always remember yeah. that when you look up there, that big, big moon, Yeah, it was your dad that did that. Thanks, Dad. I, I I love you. I love you, Dad. Sue, son, we're more than no. Did he say I love you? I don't think. I, maybe he didn't hear me. I love you. I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you so much. I do it for the fans, really. What's um and oh, guy, I couldn't have been happier about to get this phone call and make this connection. 
Yeah. I, I, I love you, Dad. Thank you. All right, Buzz. Thank you so much for. <laughs> Bye, Buzz. We'll we'll get you yeah, guys just, connected somehow. Just before I go, I want to say I love the podcast. Hey, thanks, Buzz. But, I love the work. I love Lily's. She's always gasping and laughing and whatnot. It's great. I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get you on the podcast sometime. Oh, I would love that. All I would right, love that. I like Andy, and I would love that. <laughs> All right. Take care, Buzz. Ta-ta. All right. <laughs> wow. wow. Holy moly. Can you believe? I don't, I don't know what to feel. That was a roller coaster of emotions. I'm not trying to feel right that now. That was crazy. Damn. I had no, I mean, I had no idea. I mean, it makes so much sense now. It does. Because he just wanted space. Oh, my God. He just Whoa. wanted space. <laughs> That's all he wanted. He just needed space. That's it. Doesn't that make you feel... When he left, he said, I just need space, and I didn't know what that meant, and yeah. now that it's like... Cause probably because you're a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because he's a baby, and he didn't want that commitment. Well, no, no. I'm saying you probably didn't understand because you were a baby. You couldn't really understand. That's true. That's probably also why I didn't understand what yet. he said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think um, I when I remember, I think I remember when I'm walking away, but he mouthed the words, I just need space. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that, that was a lot, dude. That was, is that, that was some incredible. closure closure. A little. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. A little cool. bit. Um, I, mean, I feel like we still need to talk a bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But tell us that one thing you told me about 2020 and 2024. Oh yeah. It's just that the symbolism. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's that like, I thought it was going to go with what we were just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, just like a meme showing the comparisons between 2020 and 2024. So like four years ago, we had Kansas City Chiefs and the 49ers going to the Super Bowl. Is that That's happening, happening this year? This year oh. In two weeks. Uh, then you have... Uh, da, 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 we had, Leap year. Uh, it was a leap year, which happens every four every years, four obviously. Years, yeah. But it also, Trump and Joe Biden, uh, head-to-head presidential election. So it's literally just like copy and pasting at this point. It's not really a coincidence because that... It would have happened at the inverse anyway. You don't think it's, it's a coincidence? It's a little that, coincidence. You don't though. think it's a coincidence that every four years there, it just happens to be a leap year? And happens you don't to think be that's you don't think there's election a pattern? year? Hey, what? The same two people are the in the election, people. and the Chiefs have won like the past three Super Bowls or something like that. Wrong you should though. you should find the last time two presidents have ran against each other in a consecutive election year. Right? I don't know if it's ever happened. Surely it had to have been, right? It's almost a default always that the the guy that um, is currently in office is going to run again. Right. And then... But the opposing, typically when they lose the election, they don't run directly the next campaign or whatever, the next four years, you know? I think they keep trying and trying and trying. Think about Hillary Clinton. Yeah, but she didn't. She wasn't the candidate for. She was only the candidate once, like the yes. Democratic nominee. Mm. Wait, are they official? Mm. Are they the official nominees candidates? I don't, I don't think official. I mean, not yeah. official, but oh. I mean, it's got. I mean, there's no one else yeah. that could possibly. If I'm scrolling through this and understanding it correctly, it's happened three times. Eisenhower versus Stevenson was fifty-two and fifty-six. Kenley versus. Uh, Brian was 1896 and 1900. Benjamin Harris, Grover Cleveland in 1888. So it's happened. We get it. We get it. It's happened. No, I, I it still have a few less more. It's common than I thought it was. I thought it happened five. probably every time. There's yeah. six. It's like it actually happens every year. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's never, it's literally never happened. Not happened. I think we're just living in a dream world right now. Yep. Wake up. We're on the brink of World War Three. This just in, the world's at war for the third time. <laughs> oh, actually, upon civil war. Yeah. Speaking of civil war, uh, the fish bandit. The fish Have bandit? Have you heard of the fish bandit? No. Okay, you go to Instagram, fish bandit, fish underscore bandit 83 or something. You don't have to right now. But there is a man that is traveling around this world taping dead fish to ATMs. Why? We don't know. <laughs> Police have charged this man. He's documenting it? on Instagram. 
He's documenting how many charges he's getting. They don't know who he is. Like they have like this, like it's just listed out there. Like, Hey, whoever's doing this, this is what you're being charged with. You better stop doing that. And he just keeps <laughs> videoing it. And he's literally like in a subway, there's an ATM and it's like literally in Japan. And it's just a tiny little cod fish just right there. Taped duct taped to the ATM. What's his crazy. message? He taped them. He taped them all over to a cop car too. Really? Yeah. Dude, it's maybe, weird. Maybe it's <laughs> like you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Ooh. Oh. The banks. Hey, what kind of shoes you wear? What kind of concrete shoe size, huh? You won't be <laughs> sleeping with the fishes. Have you seen the, um, just you saying tape reminded me of it. Have you seen the Dave Chappelle special where he's like, he enlists the help of the police to find somebody and he's like, but the person keeps sending tapes like on VHS in the modern world and they're like, look for somebody wearing bell bottoms because I don't know who said it. Tapes! <laughs> <laughs> That's, what he said. That's amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a bad joke. But I just love that. I just love those. Uh, <laughs> this outlaw, this vigilante. <laughs> Anyways, no one thought that was funny of what I just said. <laughs> I'm so self conscious because Josh keeps saying he'll like say that wasn't a good joke. <laughs> He's calling me out on it. <laughs> I don't say it out I think, loud. I think that's super healthy. Anytime you try to make a joke, the uh, you're, you know the love of your life looks you back and says that wasn't what you wanted. You did not get what you wanted out of that. You could do. <laughs> well, better. it happened the other night. I don't even know what you said, but she's never made a joke like this. <laughs> and I go, "What?" <laughs> and she's like, and she said it again. I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. And she's like, "It's a joke." I'm like, "Oh, well, then that's not a funny joke." <laughs> that's how it happened. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, knife twist. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey I'm, guys, I think it's so cool that we talked to, to Buzz Aldrin. That's crazy. I can't dude. believe it, man. Like, I had also no idea it was British. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. I was just, I mean, I'm still kind of confused of like why I couldn't have gone on. I guess. I mean, like the beard thing, I guess is plausible, but it's also yeah. like just shave the beard. I don't know. It's it's confusing, man. Yeah, it is. I mean, but he wouldn't. That's a lot to ask of someone. Shave their beard. Yeah, I guess yeah. maybe he didn't want to just impose on me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But speaking of space, yeah, Neuralink. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, the first one's been transplanted. I know. Transplant. Wild, absolutely wild. Just because we were talking about that guy who got a transplant uh, for addiction, addiction. implant. Yeah. It was an implant. Lily doesn't uh, know about yeah. this, do you? I do know about it. Oh. I yeah, that was wild. Tell them. And so the whole idea was this guy is struggling with either, you know, alcoholism or uh, drug addiction. And so he literally uh, found a company that's willing to implant something that like kind of just like zeroes in on exactly where on their brain that it struggles with. And they implant it on there. I don't know. Rewires you somehow. So you're not addicted anymore. It takes away that that dopamine. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But what that's that, what, what I'm afraid of is that it like blocks yeah. like dopamine. Yeah. And so like, can you ever feel happy doing something ever again will you ever feel love again yeah Aww. to me because i feel like addiction is that it's this it's dopamine right so like when you when you feel like you're in love with someone or like when you're so happy or like all this stuff, is it dopamine or is, or is it serotonin? serotonin might be serotonin i don't serotonin. know serotonin but yeah i wonder like does it like does it reduce levels of it <laughs> dopamine is uh like adrenaline drug oh uh serotonin is maybe it's, a, i was thinking joy, serotonin yeah, yeah yeah do you feel those things about me i do Oh. And that's why I'll never get this addiction thing in my head. Right? I'm addicted to love. Because right. I'm addicted to love. <laughs> so He's not even paying attention. Just to I go to rehab. What are you I'm doing? I don't ask. <laughs> I'm buying go-go boots. <laughs> <laughs> go-go boots? Sorry. You it, literally couldn't just like wait until like 20 minutes? I, it's my attention span. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry. All right, the educational portion of the podcast. Serotonin is associated with happiness, focus, and calmness. Dopamine is associated with rewards and motivation. Ah. So what is addiction? Probably the combination. Combination. Combo. What chemicals? So you're, you're cutting off one of them then. Yeah, I don't know how that works. If it reduces it, if it just monitors it more, if I don't know, man. That's weird. I don't know, man. Don't I'm know. no they scientist. Just, they just like... Actually, just installed like a shot collar on him. <laughs> dopamine. <laughs> Opi- out. It says opioids, cocaine, nicotine cause dopamine to flood the reward pathway. Oh. So I was technically right. Yeah. Whenever I was. Kind of. I meant serotonin. When I used to teach like <laughs> sex ed and relationships and stuff, we'd have to talk about all those like, you know, the idea of like what's real, what's not, understanding those chemicals and just, man. And then, uh, and then one day you get called 
mom, this is the sex guy from school. And they're like, don't, br- don't say that. Don't say don't that. that. <laughs> say Andy, one of the kids in school. You're saying the S word. <laughs> it's educational. Yeah. Educational. He taught sex ed. Yeah. Stop saying it. That's what it is. They literally <laughs> teach that in like middle school, Lil. We have like six year olds. You want to have lesson one? No. You can have lesson one right now. Do you still have your slides? Oh, wait. Yeah, we do have. I did. Kids listening I did save them just because it's like, I don't know. I feel like. Sorry, parents. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably like some kids like, what is that? What is that? What, mom, what is this? Why is Mr. <laughs> Andy that man? <laughs> did, did it not like weird you out at all doing it? Uh, No. I, I'm totally comfortable with like having difficult, like uncomfortable situations. So That's like it's it's fun for me. Perfect when your kids are of age. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, you know how that happened? Huh? When your father left you, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this, and I'm okay with that. But I'm okay with it. So that's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah, full bounce, circle. Bounce back, baby. Nice. But he's on his way to the moon. <gasps> um. Yeah. There's a. I don't know if you know this, but like they had a rover that. Um, they were going to lose contact with or it was going to die. It was either on Mars or something or it was like floating in space. I can't remember. Oh, Saturn. Look it up. Uh, but they played a song. Oh, no, this is not a Saturn thing. They played a song. It was like the last song the thing was going to hear like before it just floated into space, like infinite space. And it's the saddest song in the world. And it's Billie Holiday. Oh, and it says, I'll, I'll be, seeing, I'll be you. seeing you. It says, when I look at the moon, you'll all be seeing you. And it's the saddest song in the world. Well, that's depressing. It's I know it's, it's, it's so, yeah, it's crazy. It's from the notebook when they're dancing together. I'll mm. be seeing you. It's Billie Holiday. That sounded a lot like Billie Eilish, though. This is Billie Eilish. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> that sounded like. I'm the bad that like, guy. That was Billy Joel. This is Billy Joel. Ring and dirt and flirt. No, that's Buzz Aldrin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't have anything else on my list. List. Although they are updating the Doomsday Clock, by the time you see this, they'll they'll have updated it. Yeah, Bill and I um talked about it, but we're gonna be having some, we have we have some other fun stuff over on Patreon right after this. Because yes, we're going, we do. We're running it back, baby, back running to back episodes. Back. So if you want more exclusive content, you want everyone keeps saying like, hey, I, the only thing wrong with this podcast is that you post only once a week. But guess what? On Patreon, we post two three sometimes four or five times a week Mm -hmm. so we have extra episodes every single time you get discount codes go to patreon.com download the app sign up choose whatever plan you want cancel any time you're gonna love it and hopefully by the time this episode comes out we will have one million subscribers yes hopefully on youtube we're and so if nine thousand away right now we are going to have a party podcast woohoo for the one million podcast yeah cool that's going to be crazy. What are we going to do? Probably Where are we going to go? Maybe we can get Buzz Aldrin. Ooh. To come on. That would be great. Um, I was going to say something, but then I completely forgot. I think you were going to mention that if anyone needs custom apparel or merch or anything or stickers or hats mm. to for their, lo- for their company, for uh, their organization, for their church, they can go to sundaycool.com and order custom merch there with a 72-hour turnaround and remarkable customer service. No, Is that I wasn't going to say. No, I was going to mention. Never mind. Forget what I said. Everyone, comment <laughs> your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about Andy. Ooh, and be nice on the one, and then be really mean on the other one. Yep, you're allowed to be mean as long as you're extra nice. Yes, and no the, cursing. Ooh, because be creative. There's kids that read the comments, and we want to keep it family friendly. Yeah, come on, guys, you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. Love Sunday, you. Sunday cool swag. Go get new stuff. If you want some merch from NAB, go get oh, it Oh, go now. review us on everything. Five stars. Everywhere. Everywhere. And subscribe. subscribe. And follow on all of our social media accounts at Ninjas or Butterflies. Okay, bye. Love you. Farted on my heart. And tore it apart. apart. Took the sticky and mess and you made it all yours. Yeah. You made it all yours. Buzz's, Buzz's Andy's dad. That's really sad that he went to space and left him behind. Yeah, yeah you, you left, left me behind. behind. I'm looking at the moon, but I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Ninjas. Oh, All right. right. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! You were martial arts. Fucking just a Fan mail outro.
From Rip it open. Morrison. All right. Uh, what's the, what voice do we want him to do? What voice do you love that he does? I want you to do. I don't want, that's a lot. To you read. have to read I, it. I can't. I can't read in front of people. You, you want me to, to read it? Yeah. As long but as you, you have do a voice. Do an accent. No, I can't do an accent. Dear Josh, Lily, Andrew, and Andy, I've been a fan of the Ninjas of Butterflies for quite some time. On Fridays, look forward to watching it on YouTube after work. I've been telling my friends that they need to listen to your podcast. I told my friend Avery that she should listen to Ninjas of Butterflies, but she can't listen to it at work. I told her she would be laughing too much to get any work done. You guys share me- so many facts and stories. Uh, I would, <laughs> I would, I would to share some facts and stories about where I'm from. Number one, Andy, you and me are both from Missouri. Number two, Missouri most iconic food is gooey butter cake and cookies, St. Louis style thin crisp pizza, toasted ravioli. Fitz root beer and other sodas. <laughs> Number three, many places in Missouri, as well as states, were named after the American uh, Revolution General, the Marquita Lafayette, who visited America uh, her, her, her 50th anniversary. I'm losing it. <laughs> Number four, Walt Disney's hometown is Marceline, Missouri. That's true. And it's also the home of the Walt Disney Hometown Museum. Love your fan. It's either Freya or Tyler or Freya Morrison. What is it? That's Tyler. All right. Thanks, Thanks Tyler. Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.